What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another lead code challenge called Remove All Adjacent Duplicates in the String. Basically you're given a string and you got to remove every duplicate. Uh, every duplicate character in the string. Uh, every adjacent duplicate actually. So basically if there's a repeating A, B, B, A, C, A. B, B is repeated, remove that. Once you remove that, you see A and A is repeated. But you got to remove that and that ends with C, A. So uh, what you have to do is that... Um, you need to know how to use a stack. That's how you ha how that's how you would do this question. Um, I'm gonna assume you guys already did this, so I'll explain how I did it. First, you got to create a stack called a uh, stack whatever stack. Uh, let's call it data. We're gonna go through every value in the string, uh, every character in the string. Um, yeah, I I'll use a regular for loop. Uh, it's actually better if we don't use this way anymore. Because in the new C++ C++ version, it's actually better if you go through by character using a for each loop. But we'll just do it for now. Okay. Um, first, we're gonna do is we're gonna check if the stack is empty. If the stack is empty, we are going to push the current character onto the stack. So we're gonna do stack push data dot push s at i. So that's what I'm gonna do. So actually we want to remove every duplicate, right? So first we create have a stack and if it's empty we're going to push the current value onto the stack. Otherwise we need to check we have to check if the top part the the current value on the top of the stack which is the, the top part on the top of the stack which is the latest value on this top, uh, the top of the stack, right? If it's equal to our value, then we got to remove it. We're gonna remove it. Okay, we're gonna remove the value from our stack. Uh, the reason why is because this is going to prevent duplicates. Essentially is if we keep track of every current value and then from our stack, if it's equal to the current value from our string and we remove the one on the stack, in the end, there will be no duplicates in our stack. That's basically how it works. Um, yeah, we're gonna pop it. Uh, if it's not equal to, we're just add it. We'll just push back, push the value, add it. Okay. So if the top part of our stack, the latest uh, value on our stack, is not equal to the char the character we're currently at, then we'll just add the new a new character. Okay. So that's how you do this. Um, yeah. So after this is done. Now, essentially, is after this whole for loop is finished, our stack is going to have no duplicates in it. Now we have to go through our whole stack. And we need to add it to our a new string, essentially. Um, so I'll do string to return because our stack has no duplicates of characters now we have to add add uh, each value to the to our new string that we're returning because this this method requires to return a string so return to return um, in here I'm going to get the first part of our the first part of our the top of our stack so top um, I'm gonna get the current value on our stack the top of our stack and I'm going to add it to to return we're going to add it to the front of to return actually. The reason why we're adding to the front is because 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 of stacks how you keep adding the current value onto the top of the stack, right? Uh, if you want to if you keep removing the value from the top of the stack, the top of the stack is going to be the end value of our string. So, we have to add it to the beginning. Okay? Because the top of the, the stack is basically in reverse order because we're adding to the top of the stack every time. So essentially this is in reverse order. So that's why we're, what we're going to do is we are going to go through our whole stack and basically add it to the front of our string that we're returning. And that will basically re-reverse the order back to its original. Uh, after that I'm going to do data.pop. So I remove the top value. And this should work. Run the code. Uh, we got CA, CA, 
submit. And it got accepted. Uh, this is not as fast as some of 15% uh, of the C++ submissions. Uh, I can't even see the solution, but essentially this is a way to do it. Another way you could do it is actually to, let me see, you could reverse the string. So you could, could add it to the back and then reverse the string. Um, I could try that, let's see instead of creating and adding it to the front. So we could do this to return plus equal. Okay, and then another thing we could reverse to return, begin. It's basically the same thing, but now we're not adding to the front. Let's see if this is faster or not. I think it would be slower, honestly. Oh, it got faster, wow, okay. So yeah, another thing you could do that, you could reverse, you could add it to the back of the new string and then reverse it. Uh, let's see other people's solutions. Beats 100%. Okay, so they basically did exactly what we did. Uh, they used pushback, oh, okay, so they pushed back the top, then they popped. Then they reverse. Okay, so another thing we could do that. That might be better. Pushback might be actually better than just adding plus equals. Um, we could try that. Well, it's okay if it's not empty and i is equal equal to the top, then pop. Yeah, so that's basically what we did. Uh, yeah, you could do. You could use this solution also. Yeah, so that's basically how you do this question. Uh, you use a stack, keep track of the current value, and then if it's equal to the current value, you pop it, and that will basically get rid of duplicates. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.